Yeah, Martin Capel, I'm the Head of Estates for the East Midlands Reserve Forces and we are at the Wallace Barracks in Chesterfield, stood outside the building that has just been converted for use by the uh, 331 Squadron of the Chesterfield Air Training Corps. The building behind us used to be a storage building used by the Army Reserve Centre. About a year ago we decided that it would be better used to be converted into the, uh, a building for the Air Training Corps, taking them out of their existing old accommodation. Uh, from sort of the first original thoughts to actual completion it's taken about 12 months. Yeah, the Air Cadets are quite happy now they've moved into the new facility. It's certainly a lot easier for them because before they were in two separate buildings and now all in one building. The new building behind me, as you'll see shortly, has got um, all new PowerPoint projectors, a lot more storage space and just a lot more classroom space. We've now moved inside the building and we've managed to create from what was original stores about four classrooms. Uh, each classroom, as you can see from this one, has been given new furniture, so the whole building's got new furniture. Each classroom also has an interactive whiteboard and an overhead projector. So they're all fully wired in for um, uh, use by the internet, Wi-Fi, and most of the lecture, most of the lectures now carried out by the ATC are carried out through the laptops. the central corridor of the, the building. We've tried to minimise the um, circulation space so we have one corridor running straight into the central building. Off the corridor are all the classrooms and the offices. We managed to create four classrooms. There's two officers, one commanding officer's office and a general office. And there's male, female and the disabled WCs as well. Along with a, a rather large stores um, built, stores up room and a small kitchenette. Now in the general stores um, area of the building, this is really where they keep all their adventurous training, their uniforms, uh, and any other, anything else they need really to make the cadet's life a lot, a lot easier and fun to enjoy. Um, we've gone away slightly differently in this um, build where we've provided the storage and the plastic boxes. So hopefully all the uniforms are stored neatly in plastic boxes to be easier, to, easier for them to use and find. Yeah, we've tried to incorporate where we can energy saving and sustainability measures. Um, we've got photovoltaic cells on the roof, which provide electricity for us. We've got uh, light sensors in all rooms, so the lights are turned on and off by movement control. And we've also installed waterless urinals, uh, again cutting down the use of water. Yeah, we've now moved into the main hall of the, uh, of the building. Uh, this is the main parade, parade area, and this is where all the cadets will assemble at the start and at the end of their evening. Um, this also doubles up as two classrooms, we put a, a sliding screen between the two. And in this room they can also set out a small air rifle range and say the indoor archery. We've adapted the room to allow that by removing all the, all the heating at one end onto the ceiling so there's no danger of any damage. We're now outside the main entrance of the building. Uh, one thing that this has done is brought the, the air cadets closer to the main building of the Army Reserve Centre. Um, the contractors managed to maintain the existing access to the existing buildings while they were built while the new building was built. The project came in on time, on budget, uh, and was very well project managed by the East Midlands Reserve Forces, and the contractors themselves, Thomas and Sons, turned out a very high quality piece of work.